My flight to America leaves in T-minus 12 hours. And let's just say if I just so happen to run into Caitlin Bennett, you already know I'm ready. <laughs> Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. Guys, just know that I've been polishing up these hands and they are ready to be caught. <laughs> you won't catch these fists, bitch. I'm kidding guys, I'm kidding. But my flight does leave in 12 hours. And if someone wants to say, you know, you know I carry, right? I'm gonna be like, so do I, sun's out, guns out, okay? These are the only guns I carry. <laughs> no, but in all realness, I actually do leave uh, for the States. I have to be at the airport for like 4 a.m. and then my flight leaves at six or seven or something like that, I don't even know. And if you're wondering what I'm drinking, this is the blood of the haters. Cheers, folks. Okay, so I thought for this video we'd do a fun little pack my bag with me and just chat about the future of my channel because I really would like to get your guys' opinions and thoughts on like where you want to see this channel go and you know what you'd like to see from it and while I pack and stuff. So we'll just have a little chit chat with all 10,000 of you cuties. I just wanted to start this video off by saying thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. <sighs> I am so humbled and like so excited. I've gained 9,000 plus subscribers in a week, which is like so insane to me. I'm so excited and so humbled and a little bit nervous. Yeah, so I just wanted to thank all 10,000 and like 600 of you right now. Welcome to the Cuties family. You're all a part of my big family and I'm giving you all a big hug. Big hugs. I love each and every one of you. It's my little like, my little bag, this my little cuties. Love you all so much. You you already know though. I answer all of your comments. <laughs> Literally this past week has been so crazy. I've even been getting recognized like around my city, which is like so strange to me. Like I'm a nobody, you know, I don't think I'm special. I don't think I'm more important than anyone else. Like I think I'm less important than other people. <laughs> um, but someone in my history lecture at university, like as I was leaving the lecture, I like saw someone like kind of like waved their hand in front of me and I was like, oh, hey, like what's up? And uh, she was like, is your name Christina? And I was like, yeah. And I was like looking at her and I couldn't figure out where I knew her from because I was like, why would she know my name? And then she was like, oh my God, like I watched your video on YouTube. And I was like, oh, oh my God, like that's so cool. And she was like, <laughs> and then she says to me, I can't believe I have class with a celebrity. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god, please do not call me a celebrity. Nope, nope, nope. I am not. That's not me. Nope. I'm just like a regular human being who just makes random videos on YouTube. I'm stupid. Don't even. <laughs> when she called me a celebrity, I was like, no, no, no. I'm just a normal person. Please. <laughs> if you ever see me or come across me and you want to say hi, literally just come up and say hi. Because I'm, I'm so awkward and such a weirdo that... Anyway, shout out to that girl, like, love you. <laughs> I even told her, I was like, if you ever want to study for this class, like, please study with me. I'm not intimidating, I am a normal human being, and I'm no more special than anyone else. If anything, I'm less special, because... Okay, so what I'd really like to know from you guys is, again, like, you've probably noticed from my channel that if you've gone through the videos, like, it, I was kind of all over the place posting, you know, I was doing some commentary videos, I was doing some lifestyle videos, I was doing some, like, makeup videos, I was kind of doing everything, and I actually have a few friends who are famous on YouTube, and their advice for me was kind of to just try everything. Like, when you're starting out on YouTube, just kind of, like, try every different genre you possibly can until you find your niche, right? Once you throw something at the YouTube wall and it sticks and you start getting views, then kind of like you found your niche and you found what you're good at and what people want to see from you. Again, I think that's kind of like, you guys were very interested in the political commentary, which is something that I find very interesting because I have been wanting to do commentary YouTube since I started my channel and I've specifically wanted to talk about my opinions on political issues, on you know taboo issues or controversial issues 
and I even had asked my um, Instagram followers, and if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, for any updates on new videos and stuff, follow me on Instagram. I did a poll on Instagram being like, is this what you guys would want to see from me and like my YouTube channel? And I got so many replies being like, no, don't do that. Don't talk about politics. Don't talk about controversial issues because a lot of people said it could affect your future job or like people might not want to hire you because you're being controversial on the internet. Another thing was people are like, oh, you know, you're kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? You're kind of narrowing your, your, your viewer audience because, you know, these people might subscribe to you because they like your political commentary, but all these people who don't agree with your politics aren't gonna subscribe to you, right? So you're kind of like alienating your audience. And I was like, you know what? I think it's just best to like not be controversial and just like keep my opinions to myself and like just like hide back here and like do little like stupid makeup videos. Not saying the makeup videos are stupid, but I love my makeup videos. You know, I just didn't want to be controversial because it like, you know, can cause a lot of issues and again, get you a lot of hate. I realized that I got way like 10,000 times more literally 10,000 uh, times more love than I did any of the hate. So to the blood of the haters. So yeah, just like comment down below what you want to see from this channel. If you want to see more political videos, if you want to see more maybe pop culture commentary videos, like I can do it all, of course, but I want to know what you guys want. Do you guys want, you know, maybe some videos on my life and like what I do on a daily basis? Do you want some videos on sports and stuff because I do, you know, I played university basketball and university soccer. Um, I can do videos on that. I can do really anything you guys want. It's really about this guy, you guys, you know, I make videos because I want to entertain people and I want people to enjoy them. So like, what do you guys want? Let me know in the comments down below. You can send me videos to react to. You can send me uh, subjects you want me to do a video on. I already have a full list. I'm gonna be coming up with uh, a video on how I transitioned from pro-life to pro-choice. I'm gonna do a full video on that. I'm gonna do a video comparing American political parties and Canadian political parties. I'm gonna do some reaction videos, I think, to um, a bunch of people you guys sent me. But especially, I also still wanna do a few things because I feel like you guys are a little bit interested in like who I am as a person, I mean, I would hope that you guys are interested in who I am as a person and like what I do outside of YouTube. And I think that would be really cool to do a few like vlog videos in between those. If you guys would be interested in some like stuff on my lifestyle and everything, like let me know. I'm gonna be vlogging myself when I'm in the States. So hopefully you guys would like to see that video if you wanna see what I do when I travel and such, that should be fun. Also I wanna do some Reddit reviews because I don't know if you guys know, but me and my friend went viral on Reddit for our Halloween costume, we were mermaids man and barnacle boy and uh, we went viral on reddit and it was like really really funny if you guys haven't seen that video I have a video on it um, about we read all the comments and people making fun of us and stuff on reddit it was pretty hilarious so yeah if you want to go watch that video check it out but I would like to do some reddit reviews kind of like what PewDiePie does because PewDiePie is like one of my favorite youtubers I really like PewDiePie and like the kind of videos he does on like reviewing pop culture and like stuff like that if you guys want to see reddit reviews and stuff I really want to do a reddit review on the subreddit r slash nice guys because nice guys are like the worst kind of guys and i just i always find that uh subreddit so funny yeah so if you guys want to see that that'd be awesome and yeah just let me know what what you guys want to see from me and if it's like all over the map if you guys want me to do a bit of political commentary a bit of social commentary if you guys want me to do some lifestyle videos i can do it all i just want to know that that's what you guys want from me i don't want to ever put out content that you guys aren't excited about and that i'm not excited about you know what i mean does that make sense yeah okay and guys like i'm really trying to answer all your comments it was getting a bit hard there for a while and if you notice I like I couldn't answer all of them but I really am trying. Every day I wake up and I like try to go through as many comments as I can. You know, I'm also a full-time student. I have a job. I do YouTube and I play basketball and soccer. And I'm also trying to like make time for friends and like dating and stuff. So, you know, like I you know, I don't have much free time. So, I I really am trying to get around to commenting and answering all of your comments. I've decided to kind of like leave a lot of the hate comments alone just because people are very ignorant and just arguing with them feels kind of futile to me sometimes. If I feel like someone's commenting and they are wanting to have an open discussion and like talk to me about my views instead of just calling me ugly or stupid, um, I'll answer you because you know I'm all about having like an open discussion and shit but like if you're just gonna like sit there and tell me that I have a funny nose or that what's wrong with her face or you're so ugly or you know what I mean or oh wow you're so stupid like go die like 
you know, I'm not gonna reply to those because like what's the point? You've already made up your mind about me, right? There's no point in trying to change it But I'm trying to reply anyone who ever says anything kind or if you've constructive criticism Appreciate it so much. But anyways, if I don't reply just know that I probably read it or I always try to like thumbs up it or whatever If I if I can't reply at the time I went to the store today and bought some things for my trip. I bought some reading material <laughs> I've been so sad about Kobe Bryant and his daughter and her teammates and their families and the pilot and everything I, I was so sad about that whole situation like I cried for days after that and you know anyone who knows me knows that I am a ginormous basketball fan like of course I played basketball my entire life and I played into university and I still play rec basketball and basketball has always been a very big part of my life and so like these amazing players have always like I've looked up to them so much even though I was never a Lakers fan because you know my team is the Raptors hashtag we the North He's a, a competitor to my team, right? So I was never cheering for his team But I always have so much respect for people who do great things in basketball, right? I always have looked up to those people especially him with like the Mamba mentality and how hard he worked One of the greatest basketball players of all time the way he got into women's basketball too and started helping out you know, he was one of the biggest advocators for women's basketball and especially with his daughter and that was so important to me as, like, as someone who grew up um, being a women's basketball player. So I have like a special place in my heart for him and for like his daughter and his family and you know for her teammates and their families who were on the helicopter as well. Like that broke my heart because those were like, you know, a few young girls that like were killing it in the basketball game and it just breaks my heart. So honestly like rest in paradise everyone that was a part of that accident and my thoughts go out to all the families who were affected I just like I cried for days I, I some people I knew just really didn't understand how much I was like hurt by what had happened it's strange because like I've never met these people right and if you know anything about me as a person I'm like an empath which is like if there's a spectrum of like empathy and like there's sociopaths and then there's empaths I'm on this spectrum where to a point where I feel things for people I've never met like something horrible happens like you know across the world I'm gonna feel it to a super deep ex extent because I'm very like emotional <laughs> I'm just like a very emotional person my default is crying like if you ask my parents me as a child they're like Christina used to cry so much as a kid that it was overwhelming and they love to tell the story and make fun of me to like anyone I ever date or like any friends I bring home they're like when Christina was a kid we used to tell her Christina you have five cries today and once you surpass those five cries you're in really big trouble <laughs> I would have like four ta like tantrums during the day like crying and my parents would be like Christina that's cry number four one more and you're done and i'd be like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like they had to give me a number of cries i was allowed in a day like my default is just crying guys i'm too emotional i think another reason this was so upsetting to me was that my my dad is a girl dad my dad has three daughters a wife and a girl dog his whole life so he was a girl dad to the extent he coached us all in basketball he coached us in tennis he was our biggest supporter like drove us to all our tournaments all of our games sat in the stands and screamed at us for missing foul shots you know he was like our biggest supporters and seeing the way like Kobe and supported his daughter in everything and just wanted her to do amazing things in basketball just I don't know so I also got these because I wanted to give them to my dad when I get to the States. So some other things I bought, I bought, I bought Advil because I get headaches very easily. I bought one of these tiny razors, which I don't even know if you're allowed to bring on planes. My friend Justine, who's coming with me to the States, said that she looked it up and it said we could. So hopefully this doesn't get confiscated. I got this little like lotion so I don't have to take like a big thing of lotion with me. And yeah, and then I just got this eyebrow pencil. So usually I do my eyebrows with this L'Oreal uh, pencil but I get it in the color dark brunette and they didn't have dark brunette so I got soft black and I was like oh my god it's just, my eyebrows are just gonna end up looking like they did in high school because I used to color in my eyebrows in high school with like black eyeliner um <laughs> let's hope that works out for me and I've actually always wanted one of these like cold eye masks because I get really bad like dark under eye circles and like my eyes get really puffy in the mornings and stuff um and that's always ow that's always nice to have. Um, yeah, I feel like this wasn't really a packing video, but you know, this is the stuff I got at the store for my video. Um, but yeah, that's kind of wanted to talk about the future of my channel. I'm gonna get a little bit closer right now. Um, I just wanted to basically talk about like the future of my channel 
and like what I want to do with it and I just really want to hear what you guys want from it because I do still want to do like fun videos I don't want everything to be like political commentary on my channel you know what I mean because I feel like I still do want to do some like fun things and like let you guys see like into my life now that I have like a lot of subscribers who probably are interested in like what I'm doing outside of YouTube and like who I am as a person I mean like I hope you guys would be interested in that <laughs> maybe it's just me being a narcissist and I'm like oh everyone's so interested in my life <laughs> no not at all. <laughs> I'm so boring. I mean, if anyone watched my day in a life video, you'll probably see how boring my life is. Uh, but I do have a lot of like interesting opinions. You know, I study basically, my major in university is philosophy with a specialization in ethics and public affairs. So I specialize basically in theoretical ethics and political philosophy. So I learn a lot about actually um, theoretical ethics and like bioethics and so bioethics we learned a lot about you know euthanasia abortion we learn all about that stuff and whether or not it's ethical so I think I do have like a very unique perspective on a lot of things so I really would like to share that with you guys and yeah I think that's all for this video really I know I didn't really pack it was more just a chit chat video <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> yeah make sure to comment let me know what you guys want for my videos. I just want to like say another thank you to every single one of you for subscribing to me and every single one of you who has commented and supported me and followed me on Instagram and just sent me the most amazing messages. I had someone hand write me a letter uh, thanking me for one of my videos uh, for like a personal reason and I actually legit started crying. I was read and again my default is crying but I literally started reading it and I was like sobbing because it meant the world to me that like someone was so touched by one of my videos and that, you know, just one person being helped is worth any hate comment I ever get. So like call me ugly all you want, but like someone was touched by my video, so I guess. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.